let me remind you a few facts in this post-factual world. Russia illegally annexed Crimea. President Putin ordered an invasion both to Crimea and to eastern Ukraine. They shot down MH17. They actually refused to de-escalate the situation under the Minsk deal. And Russian forces, because you said that this is separatist forces. No, the truth is that Russia deployed its regular military in the east of Ukraine. So Russian forces uh, launched an offensive operation against the Ukrainian people. Look at this horrible data. In the last week, we lost 10 people, so the death toll is rising, and 66 have been injured. Uh, so, as far as we see, there is no intention on the Russian Federation to implement the Minsk deal. There is only one intention, to make Ukraine back into the sphere of the Russian interests. And I strongly believe that uh, the only solution we have on the table is to ramp up, ramp up sanctions and to stay united uh, among all members of the free world. This is a regular narrative of President Putin and his administration. Constant lie and defamation. It was Russia who launched this war. This is Russia who ordered an offensive operation against Ukrainian people. And this is Russia who committed an international crime. This is the reality. I truly commend uh, Prime Minister Theresa May when she delivered a very strong speech at GOP retreat in Philadelphia. And I believe that the free world is united because Russia posed an ex existential threat to the free world. In terms of the United States, uh, today you saw the footage of the speech of the um, uh, U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. They followed the same line as their predecessors. This is the line to support the global order. This is the line to condemn an international crime uh, committed by the Russian Federation. So my take is that Ukraine heavily relies on bipartisan approach in the United States. And I believe that the U.S. machine will defend its national interests and will defend the interests right. of the free world, too.